Okay, so I'll show you guys this loading pin to a height design. So I'll start with the loading pin. I haven't painted anything yet, so you guys get to witness it. Well, it's still the bird and ugly. So pretty standard loading pin, except for it's going to have the four holes in it, which I'll show you the device this goes into. But when you put the crossbar device on this, this hole is a 13 inch lift, 10, 8, and a 6 inch lift to the, to the Euro crossbar. So let me show you the part that goes to that. Here's this ugly thing. That's a tube with a three with a quarter inch, about an 18 inch long crossbar, so nice and rigid. This has got an adjuster nut on the back side for a little pitch and yaw. Uh, the more you bounce it around, things things will adjust. If I made it any tighter with tubing, it would have just been a royal pain to move otherwise. So but this piece goes in. Kind of like your trailer hitch on your lawnmower tractor. So, let's try this. so if you wanted to set this to a say 13 inch lift because you were really tall and well, that's what the event called for. Drop it on. So how's it working in rep practice? Over well, there I got a setup one. Right now I got it set to an 8 inch lift. So stack up 45s under there. Set that up. Again, you might have to check that tensioner as you're going. stack up till you run out of space or you feel like taking it down. So about every 45 pounds or so you probably want to yeah. Oh god this thing spins faster. Too much one. So then you get down to a big enough jump. Yeah. 